Let's take a tour of Fast Forward Language Version 2. This product helps elementary students focus on listening accuracy, phonological awareness, and listening comprehension. Like all Fast Forward software, Language Version 2 builds fit brains. The seven exercises your students will be working on do not require reading, but they do take brain power. Students build their memory, attention, processing, and sequencing skills while simultaneously improving the language skills they need to be better learners. Students will complete tasks presented in sounds, words, and sentences. Welcome to Sky Gym. In Sky Gym, students click on the yellow planet to hear two sound sweeps. This might be two up sweeps, two downward sweeps, or one of each. Then using the up arrow or down arrow, they are asked to repeat what they heard. Over time, students improve their auditory processing or ability to recognize and remember the order in which a series of sounds is presented. In the classroom, improved auditory processing helps students with phonics, with listening comprehension, and a variety of other skills. Consecutive correct responses are tracked by these vents. Notice what happens when we get three in a row correct. This ball gets larger. If I get another three in a row correct, it grows more. This is what you want your students to focus on, consistent accuracy. You'll see markers for completion as a student advances through the content. Using the help feature, students can listen to the four different combinations of sound sweeps to better distinguish between them. Use this when you're working with students who are having difficulty with a particular sequence. With Sky Gym, the key to success is encouraging students to be accurate and take their time before responding. To work on Moon Ranch, the student clicks the yellow planet on Granny's tractor to hear a syllable repeated in rapid succession. When the exercise presents a new syllable, which will sound very similar to the first one, the student must click the farm animal to be moved into the pasture. This exercise builds phonemic awareness by requiring students to attend to changes in speech sounds. It also targets sustained and focused attention, a skill that benefits all children in the classroom. Mood Ranch is unique among all exercises in that quick responses are important. As I mentioned, students must pay close attention. If the animal is clicked too early or too late, the response is counted as incorrect. When the student answers correctly, the exercise raises the animal a little higher toward the fence. Consecutive correct responses are shown here with these three steps. When the student answers three in a row correctly, the animal moves on to the next step. When the student answers three in a row correctly three times, the animal is transported over the fence and the exercise awards bonus points. More and more farm animals will be seen in the hills behind the pasture as the student completes more and more correct responses. The percent complete markers on Granny's tractor indicate the percentage of completed content in the exercise. Remind students that Moon Ranch requires focused attention and quick responses when they hear the change in sounds. To work on RoboDog, the student clicks the yellow planet to hear a word pronounced. Four pictures appear on the screen. The student must click the picture that represents the pronounced word. RoboDog presents words that differ by an initial sound, or a final sound, or both. Besides developing language comprehension and phonemic awareness, at the highest level, RoboDog also presents academic vocabulary, such as math and science terminology. These three buttons will indicate the number of consecutive correct responses. When the student answers three in a row correctly, a biscuit appears in the box on the left and the counter resets. Watch what happens when a student answers three in a row correctly three times. Students will see more animations rewarding continued accuracy with more biscuit boxes, golden bones, and bonus points being awarded. The percent complete markers on the left indicate the percentage of completed content in the exercise. Each marker represents 10% of the exercise. When all of the markers light up, the exercise is complete. If the student needs assistance with a vocabulary, the student can click the Help button next to Goldie the RoboDog. A question mark inside the planet indicates that help is on. When help is on, the exercise pronounces the word for each picture and briefly displays the picture on the screen before each word is presented. This allows the student to review the vocabulary before being asked to respond. Help remains on until the student turns it off by clicking the Help button again, or until the student completes the content group they are working on. Help is one of the best tools to use in RoboDog. To work on Ellabot, the student clicks the yellow planet on Ella the Ellabot to hear a word or sentence pronounced. Students must click the picture that best matches the meaning. 
Elabot helps improve the students' listening accuracy and their understanding of grammar as the exercise presents questions and sentences that involve a range of grammatical difficulty. Who is the girl pulling? Choose the picture of the bunny. These light bulbs will signal correct responses, and when students answer three in a row correctly, a peanut will appear in the bag on the left and the counter will reset. After three of these cycles are complete, Ella gets to eat the peanuts, and the empty bag moves to the right side of the screen. The percent complete markers on the left indicate the percentage of completed content in the exercise. To work on Space Commander, the student clicks the yellow planet to hear directions, and then follows those directions using the grid and shapes displayed. Students click the mouse to touch a shape and drag and release the shape to move it. Space Commander helps improve the student's memory as the directions get longer and more complex. It also develops their listening accuracy and grammar skills. Touch the little green circle and the big yellow square. This is where students should focus on accuracy. They will see a count of correct responses on the bird's fingers. The when the student answers three in a row correctly, the signal the officer directs the pilot bird square. to fly into the globe and, and the, the counter resets. Square. As the student continues answering trials correctly in a session, more and more birds fill the globe, which help indicate a more successful session. The percent complete I markers on the, the left indicate the percentage square. of completed content in the exercise. Each one represents 10% of the exercise. When all 10 markers light up, the exercise is complete. To work on HoopNet, the student clicks the yellow planet on the tree launcher to hear a target syllable. The student Rock. must listen carefully as each Rock. of the two astronauts in the acorns presents a different syllable. Rock. One presents the target syllable, Rock. while the other Rock. presents a syllable that differs from the target syllable by a single phoneme. Rock. The student must click the acorn Rock. that presents the target Rock. syllable. In HoopNet, Students develop phonemic awareness, a foundational reading skill. Consistent accuracy is reinforced with this indicator, wow. which tightens up a little more yeah. for each consecutive wow. correct response. When the student answers three in a row wow. correctly, the tree launcher yeah. shoots an acorn wow. through the hoop on a nearby tree ship, and the counter is reset. Wow. The percent complete wow. markers on the tree yeah. launcher indicate the percentage of completed content in the exercise. Each marker represents 10% wow. of the exercise. When the student reaches the H, that means they are 50% complete and results in more fun and frequent reward animations. Knowing what the sounds are is not as important as being able to tell the difference between them. Whalian Match displays grids of 4, 8, or 16 Whalians. Each Whalian has a syllable or word associated with it. The object of Whalian Match is to match them into pairs. The student will click a Whalian, listen to the target sound, then click the other Whalians on the screen to find the Whalian with the matching syllable or word. If the student clicks a new Whalian that matches one already clicked, the student must then go back and click the first Whalian of the pair to confirm the match. As students identify and match spoken words, they strengthen their memory and ability to make distinctions based on individual phonemes. This ultimately improves their phonemic awareness and sound letter correspondence. Students have a click counter to encourage them to choose their clicks wisely. Each time the student clicks a whalian, one of the tokens disappears. When the student matches all of the whalians on the screen with tokens, remaining bonus points are awarded. The student can keep working if they run out of tokens. The percent complete markers on the left indicate the percentage of completed content in the exercise. Rather than guessing randomly, the fastest way for students to progress through the content is to use a left-to-right strategy to clear the grid. To try the exercises yourself and to demonstrate them to your students, you can access the exercise demos here in the Manage section of My SciLearn. It's easy to sample the early levels or the late levels of any exercise so you have an understanding of how the exercise will progress over time. There's also an introduction which you can use for yourself or for students which will briefly explain what to do. Try out the exercise demos for the products your students will be working on and review the Fast Forward Language Version 2 Demonstration Day Tips PDF for suggestions on how to introduce the exercises to your students.